Thank you for watching. You've joined ECMID TV. I'm Michael Jackson, and we'll be running the ECMID TV channel live throughout the entire Congress coming up in Amsterdam in April of this year. We thought what we'd like to do with you up front of the Congress is share with you one or two of the secrets that are going on behind it. And one of the most important aspects on the calendar for us this year is, of course, the Excellence Award Lecture. Joining us to talk about the Excellence Award Lecture, which is a very prestigious lecture to give, is Dr. Robert Bonomo, who's the Professor of Medicine, Pharmacology, Molecular Biology and Microbiology Chief of Medical Service at the Louis Stokes Cleveland Department of the Veterans and Affairs Medical Center over in the United States. Doctor, it's a real joy to have you with us, sir. How does it feel to be delivering the Excellence Award Lecture for 2016? Uh, uh, thank you for inviting me today. Um, I'm very humbled by this. Uh, um, I've had the privilege over the years to work with some very intelligent and bright people, and I've learned so much from them. And uh, I've also been very dedicated to the care of our patients you know, that we have to treat as infectious disease specialists. So the inter, the, what this award, award represents, the interface between clinical care and basic science is a particularly uh, 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 important thing to me. So I am very uh, grateful for this award. Thank you, sir. Now you're talking about the renaissance of beta-lactamase inhibitors. Can you give us a bit of a heads up as to what's happening there? Well, uh, when I started uh, treating patients many, many years ago, uh, the introduction of beta-lactam, beta-lactamase inhibitor combinations mm -hmm. was a real advance. Um, but unfortunately, over time, these very, very potent drugs, Ampsobactam, amoxicillin, clavulanic acid, as just examples, um, became compromised due to the emergence of multidrug resistant organisms and also the introduction into the clinics and in the hospital and community, beta lactamases that couldn't be inhibited by them. So these presented some real challenges. Uh, every clinician that works in a, uh, a medical center today is aware of carbapenemases, carbapenem-resistant Klebsiella pneumoniae is a word of multidrug-resistant Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and the toll on human life that these uh, nefarious pathogens exert is, 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 is very sad. Mm -hmm. So as a physician and also as a uh, uh, physician scientist, my goal was to try to bring you know, a better understanding of the enzymes, a better understanding of the compounds so that we can make a big difference in this area. And now we're at the threshold, or as I say, what I hope to show in the lecture, uh, there's a renaissance in understanding of these new drugs uh, that we have introduced, uh, Avibactam being one of them, and there are others, Relibactam, that's also being developed by Merck. These are extremely potent compounds that uh, uh, that will, will will be uh, will make a big difference, I think, in this in, in saving lives uh, for these patients and. It's, uh, it's been my belief now that we're in a renaissance of in our understanding here is because with the introduction of the first uh, of this class of compounds, we have second and third and other compounds like Zelibactam that will also be coming that will not only hit uh, KPC uh, producing organisms, but also be potent against Acinetobacter. So we're at a very exciting time in this area. Can't come fast enough you know, because we do have uh, many uh, lives that are being lost still, both in the United States, Europe, and other parts of the world. More than, you know, almost 30,000 patients every year succumb to multidrug resistant infections. And if we could make a small dent in that, it, it would be a big, it would be a very big accomplishment. It's going to be tremendous to listen to your lecture, Doctor, and I'm sure that it's going to be standing room only in the, in the venue itself. Just in closing, sir, what, what does ECMID mean to you? And are you looking forward to this year's Congress other than delivering your lecture? Well, uh, 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 ECMID means a lot to me. Um, uh, you know, I'm one of those uh, few uh, uh, individuals that have part of my roots in Europe and part of my roots in the United States. Um, I have a, a real uh, affection for the science that's been done in Europe. Many of my best friends, scientists in Europe that you know, I've been very, very close to over the years, and I've supported this meeting as, I've, as I have supported other meetings. The reason I support this meeting and other meetings that are going on in the world in this area is because I believe in the mission of this meeting and, you know, the, the elucidation of the important scientific issues 
uh, the introduction of novel therapies, the discussion that occurs at these meetings, uh, not only here but in the United States, sponsored by IDSA or ASM and ECMID. These are great societies that you know are trying to make a big difference, and I support all of that. We're so looking forward to seeing you and networking with you and all of your colleagues as well. Doctor, thank you for giving us of your time today. I know you're incredibly busy, but we just wanted to say in closing, thank you once again, and we're so looking forward to meeting up with you live at ECMID 16. Um, the same, true. I'm looking forward to meeting you also. Thank you Have very much indeed, sir. Bye-bye.